Hello folks, back with another tip to help anyone looking to get into real estate. This is something that every man can do. So this is a copy of the Seattle Times, or the, the local newspaper, it's a Sunday newspaper. And maybe a dollar, two dollars, you can get a copy of it, and then you'll notice people that are active in the business. And they're put together, they're putting out advertisements. And what you can actually find in these classified ads are, excuse me, one example right here. So it says, wanted real estate. I have buyers for fixtures, tear down homes, or vacant lots in Seattle Shoreline area. Call, call Randy, I'm saying it because it's in an advertisement, I figure he wants people to know. Then there's a phone number with it, Remax Northwest. Um, well, since it's in an advertisement, I guess he's all right with me putting it out there. 206-979-7726. This is for the Seattle Shoreline area. Tear down for fixtures, so don't bother this guy unless you meet his criteria. It'll be in the Seattle Shoreline Fixer Uppers. All right. It's just an example of what most people can do. You can go to your large city's newspaper and communicate with them. There was also an advertisement in here for private money, fix and flips. It's a business, let's see, where, where was the example? It's on the inside, it was like a bold thing. You can also find all the auctions and people there who are already participating in the state sales and public auctions. It could be great for lead generation for your business. Anyways, there was a, there was a private money ad. Of course, you're going to have their own terms. Mm -mm -mm. Where the heck were you? Come on. We'll find this. One point of entrepreneurship is you don't give up. You just you keep chugging at it until you've created what you want. So if you can bear with me for a minute, I'm going to find this. Let's see. Oh, if you like to meet singles right now, there's an advertisement for that. Let's see. Uh, there's too many good women out there. Don't worry about meeting singles through an advertisement. Let's see. Face-to-face -face interactions. Let's see. Online real estate auction. Yeah. Let's see. Name for sale. I knew I saw this. Okay, here we go. Real estate loans. It's just above rentals. It says, my family has private money to lend on real estate. There's a number. It says, credit or income, no problem, because they've got their own terms. They're probably an asset-based lender who already has their terms set up. And it, could, it might not be a cheap loan in the sense that there could be points at the beginning. A point is usually 1% of the loan. It could be paid up front or at the end. They've got, probably got their own terms. If they're advertising here, they've probably got a system built. And you could probably be sure that they're trying to do this on a, on a scale. They, they know their terms. So at least you're dealing with someone who knows what they're looking for. 
and you can find it. if you if you don't think you conventional route is the best, the banks can mess you up. I mean, with a thirty year amortization schedule, the interest rate could be misleading as far as how much interest you'll actually pay. The total amount of interest is a lot different than the interest rate depending on how long the loan is. And you might be able to do more with these private agreements. If you come to the table with value, if if you run the numbers and you know that you can protect the person that's loaning to you. Okay. So Good luck to you. It's right at your fingertips if you'll be bold enough to do it. So, I, I know you can, man. Take care.